The guy you're looking at collected millions of plastic bottles and put them in the sea to build a floating hotel in Africa. The first of its kind. What? Who is this guy? Why did he collect so much trash? And how much does he charge his hotel guests? In the remote country of Ivory Coast in Africa, I found Eric. Hello, I'm Eric. I'm obsessed with trash. Years ago, Eric left his home and traveled all the way here to look for an opportunity. But what he found was not an opportunity. He found this, a plastic bottle floating in the sea. Then he found another and another until he saw thousands of them lining up the beach of Ivory Coast. And that's when he realized all the plastic that people threw away never got recycled. They end up in the beach, poisoning the water and turning a beautiful coastline into an ugly eyesore. It has been happening for years, but no one knew what to do with all the trash. That is when Eric had a crazy idea. What if he used all this floating trash and put thousands of them together to build an island hotel in the sea? And not just any island, but a hotel island. Eric was so crazy about his new idea that he started collecting plastic bottle after plastic bottle until he ended up with 800,000 of them. Then he tied the bottles together, put wood planks on top of them, built a few rooms, and bit by bit, the island started to float. In the beginning, when the people saw what we were doing with the trash in the Laguna, people said I was crazy. Then Eric went one step further and added a freaking pool, a restaurant, and even a karaoke bar made by trash on top of water. For $100 a night, you'll get a room with everything you need, Wi-Fi and AC. And if you're bored of the view, you can even ask Eric to move the island for a different view. The island can be towed totally or partially for event, for example. This huge trash object in the middle of the sea is actually really eco-friendly. It has its own solar panels for energy and its own equipment to turn waste into fertilizer. Today, the Iceland weighs over 200 tons and attracts over 100 visitors per week. Eric's Island is now a successful business, but he's not stopping here. He's planning to get more plastics and build even more islands. On weekend, we organize trash picking on the beach. We even get the kids to participate, so they learn not to throw away the trash in the nature when they grow up. And yes, he's getting the whole Ivory Coast to help, so that one day the coastline of this beautiful country will be plastic free. I want to change the way people look at trash. Nothing goes to waste. We just have to find a different use for it. This guy managed to build a whole island, created jobs for locals, inspired a country, and made the world a better place simply from a plastic bottle. It goes to show nothing is ever too small and no idea is too crazy to make a difference. Did you like that video? I hope so. It was a lot of effort and we're so happy to make it. In collaboration with Facebook, during the month of Ramadan, we are showing you the stories of 30 people in 30 days and each one of these stories is more amazing than the other. I hope you continue tuning in for this special daily series and follow us on Facebook. That's more than a minute. See you tomorrow.